Ukraine war, U.S. estimates 200,000 military casualties on all sides. The most senior U.S. general estimates that around 100,000 Russian and 100,000 Ukrainian soldiers have been killed or injured in the war in Ukraine. General Mark Milley, chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, also suggested that around 40,000 civilians had died after being caught up in the conflict. The estimates are the highest offered yet by a Western official. He also said that Science Keep was willing to re-enter talks with Moscow offered a window for negotiations. In recent days, Ukraine has signaled a willingness to hold some discussions with Moscow, after President Volodymyr Zelensky dropped a demand that his opposite number, Vladimir Putin, must be removed from power before negotiations could resume. But speaking in New York, Jen Milley added that for any talks to be successful, both Russia and Ukraine would have to reach a mutual recognition that a wartime victory mutual recognition. The top general, who serves as President Joe Biden's most senior military advisor, said the scale of the casualties could convince both Moscow and Kiev of the need to negotiate over the coming winter months, when fighting may slow due to freezing conditions. You're looking at well over 100,000 Russian soldiers killed and wounded, Jen Milley said. You're looking at well over 100,000 Russian soldiers killed and wounded. Both Ukraine and Russia jealously guard their casualty numbers. Moscow's last update in September said that just 5,937 troops had been killed since the start of the conflict, with Defense Minister Sergei Shuigu dismissing reports of a significantly higher death toll. Jen Milley's estimate is starkly higher. By comparison, 15,000 Soviet soldiers were estimated to have died in the 1979-89 Afghanistan conflict.